What's good everyone, it's Spongy here. I've been holding off making the guide for the world gun until we actually found out what the attachment specific challenges were going to be. This was the easiest gun in the game to get gold, diamond, atomic, whatever you want. Because when I did it at least, and it was like this for a good 10 days, 14 days, something like that, there were no attachment specific challenges, you literally just had to get 100 kills for each. This is what I use in it for the most part. The gun hits pretty hard, especially if you're in hardcore. There's zero things to worry about with this gun in all honesty. But we'll take a quick fly round the challenges. I was going to do a full in-depth guide, but it's just not even worth it. Obviously you have 400 eliminations, you'll do that naturally. Similarly with the headshots, I'd be mightily surprised if you don't manage to just accidentally shoot 100 people in the head. And you don't need another 100 at any point, so go to town on them. We have 50 multi kills as always, again, nothing to worry about. Hardcore ship house will do this for you with no time whatsoever. Similarly, five kills without dying 30 times. If you don't find yourself in a position being able to like shoot five people without dying 30 times in ship house, then I don't know what to tell you. Otherwise, if you're really, really struggling, use another gun. Use overkill and use a gun you're comfortable with. This gun's perfectly fine in my opinion, but if you're super struggling with it, go get four kills with another gun and get the fifth kill with the well gun and it will count. 100 long range kills, this gun hits pretty hard for an SMG, most people know to sit down that main alley in Das House, I found it was easier to lobby surf for Das House on hardcore, not in the specific playlist, so choose like domination or hardpoint and search for small maps there, purely because people don't spam nades nearly as much, it just makes it a little bit more bearable in my opinion. Close range kills, you shouldn't have any issues doing with this, you do have to get 100 more later on so it's up to you if you do them with a focused attempt when you unlock this challenge straight away or not. Then you've got 100 hip fire kills. There's multiple attachments you could put on this to increase your hip fire accuracy and it does need it would be the thing I'd say. You do have to get 100 uh, hip fire kills attachment specific so you might as well just wait for that but if you really wanted to get rid of these 100 kills there are a ton of different attachments. They all say hip fire accuracy on them so take your pick. But in case you did want to wait, one of the attachment specific challenges is 100 hip fire kills with the S custom stock, the 9mm 64 round mags and gun co proficiency. Pretty easy. I tried this build out briefly, obviously I didn't have to do it this way because I had the bugged version. It was a pretty easy way to do it, it's probably one of the better builds, especially if you put something like the Carver 4 grip on with it. And that is just a point of hip firing you have 64 rounds just hold down the trigger you'll hit something in hardcore trust me then you got 100 ads with the sa shrouded barrel 43m pack stock and 48 round mags equipped the grenko ones pretty easy 100 ads kills tootle your way over to whatever game mode you choose and go get them Finishing it off, you've got 100 short range kills, which doesn't appear to be different from close range kills. It's like they've just forgot what they called them and went for short range kills. Regardless, you need 100 of them with 120 mil short barrel, the removed stock and momentum proficiency. Ship house. Again, in a surprise to literally no one. Go to ship house and get 100 kills. Easy peasy. And that is the world gun gold. Used to be the easiest gun in the game to unlock gold for. And now it's still pretty easy, to be honest. I still reckon it's one of the easiest guns to unlock gold for. That's just my opinion. As always, if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I know this was a fly through, but there was like zero things on this gun that was going to cause any trouble. As always, guys, if you did enjoy the video, do give it a like. Subscribe if you want to find your way back. Hope you all have a good day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.